Anybody there? Hello? Ah, hi! I'm Nika and I help women entrepreneurs create irresistible impact with their messaging and marketing. And I was actually just looking for you right now, but I couldn't see you. So I'm going to share five strategies on how you can create irresistible impact in this video for you so that you can be found when people put the spotlight on you. So how about that? So let's get started. The first strategy that is absolutely going to set you apart as a leader, as a thought leader, as a luminary, is you need to rile people up emotionally. You've got to engage people emotionally. So whether that is you ranting, whether you being silly like me just with my binoculars or other silly things that I do all the time, um, it doesn't matter. You need to show people that you're a human being and so you need to show your emotion and bring them to the table when you speak and connect with your audience. Because if they can't feel that emotion, if they can't feel the passion within you, then they're not going to feel passionate towards your cause. And it's going to be very hard for them to engage with you um, on an emotional level. Which brings me to the second tip, the second strategy, is to connect and engage with your tribe by being different than everyone else. You don't want to be vanilla, okay? You don't want to be boring. You don't want to be undecided. You don't want to be the person who says, well, gee, I don't know. Or, hmm, let me think on that. You want to be the decision maker. You want to set the scene. You want to be the rule breaker and a person who leads the queue from the front. And the only way you can be that person is when you amp up your personality and you're different than everyone else in your industry. Because in doing so, you're taking a stand. And when you're taking a stand, you give people an opportunity to believe in your cause. And when they believe in your cause, they will side with you. They will cheer for you. They will love you and they will become your loving, raving fans. The third strategy to create irresistible impact is to speak up for what you truly believe in. So don't be afraid to take sides. Don't be afraid to be a little bit controversial. Controversy is a great way to market your business, but you obviously got to be able to take the, 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 the bad side of it as well. So if, if you do take a stand and you are speaking up, be prepared for people to try to counter you and to actually point fingers at you and to call you out and even call your names. Look, for all it's worth, you can never please everyone out there. You've got to make peace with the fact that no matter what you say, no matter what you believe in and no matter with whom you are siding, you will always have people who judge you, who hate you, who don't like you and who will try to pull you down from your pedestal. So the moment you start shining and you start to inspire people, there will be people who will try to claw you down because they got nothing better to do with their lives. You know, these are bullies, they are losers, they're just negative people who have nothing better to do than to try to make your life really hard. Ignore them. Okay, the best way to deal with these people is to ignore them, don't bite, don't engage in their nitpicking and their petty name calling. It's not worth your time and your energy. Then the fourth strategy to create irresistible impact is to show up unapologetically. I can't even pronounce the damn word, <laughs> but you've got to be unapologetic when you show up. So get really clear on your marketing persona, on your brand persona, who that person is behind the voice, who that person is behind your content that you're sharing. You know, be really clear on who you are. What are your values? What are your non-negotiables? You know, the boundaries that you set in place that absolutely have to be um, fulfilled in order for you to be happy doing your business and serving clients. Get really clear on that stuff because it will serve you really, really well in your business. And it will help you make decisions quite easily because you can make them based on your values and what you believe in. 
And you don't have to um and ah about whether you want to work with a specific person or not, because you know immediately whether that person is your ideal client or whether that person is going to waste your time. Okay. Then the last strategy on creating irresistible impact is to become a gutsy decision maker. Now, I see so many women, they are delaying their decisions all the time. I have always been a quick decision maker. I make decisions like that. I'm very impulsive. I haven't got any pa pa uh, patience. And so if I want something, I want it now. I want it yesterday. And so if I have to make a decision, whether I, it's the red or the blue or the flight or the cruise ship or the, the black or the white, I make a decision very quickly. Whereas my husband, he ums and ahs, he thinks about it, he potters, and it drives me absolutely insane. Now, sometimes, umming and ahring is a good thing, especially when it comes to financial investments. So it's a smart thing to consider all of your angles and all the potential downfalls of making that investment. So yes, when it comes to financial investments, it's good to think about all of your angles and, and, and what, whatever is possible. But if you have to make a decision whether you should be launching or sharing this or doing this, just do it. Just put that stuff out there. Don't um and ah, don't wait for next Monday. Don't wait for next month. Don't wait for the right opportunities. Make gutsy decisions like a leader and be the leader that you want to be. Because without leadership, you're not going to have the irresistible impact that you want. Without leadership, you're not going to have the visibility that you want. Without leadership, you're never going to be that successful business owner that you want to be. That can have that fantastic lifestyle where you can call the shots. You are in charge of your time and whether you want to work today or not. So become that person that you want to be. Yeah? Be gutsy enough to stand for yourself and to show the world what you mean and that you mean business. And if that was helpful, give it a like, share it with your friends and, you know, start a, start a conversation. Use the comments below. Let me know what you're thinking. What is the biggest takeaway for you of this video? What are you going to implement this week that's going to help you drive your business forward and your impact forward. You know, you reach farther and so you can actually connect with more of your ideal clients and be the leader that you want to be. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.